Morven Evin on the Llyn Peninsula in North Wales, where for many English is their second language. Like Rhys Tidir, a Welsh speaker, solicitor and campaigner on the issue of second homes. Um, second homes price locals out, you know, a variety of messages. Uh, I'll die and edit the Gymraeg, second homes erodes the Welsh language. Dim mwy o dai ha, no more second homes. The emphasis is on the more, you know, no more second homes. Tomorrow he'll join others in North Wales, protesting under the slogan of Wales is not for sale. Nearly a quarter of Nevin's homes are now second homes, including holiday lets. In nearby Abasoch, it's 46%. Without caps imposed, some claim the very future of the Welsh language in such heartlands is at stake. Not only you feel that you're being priced out of the community, but you feel that the community you've been brought up in, um, the, the identity of it, the, the Welsh-speaking identity of it is being swept away. If the percentage, for example, of, of, of um, a living community goes under a certain threshold, it cannot sustain itself. It's the same with the Welsh language. Well, once it goes under a certain threshold, it won't be a living language which is spoken daily on the streets anymore. Tomorrow's rally is being held by Cymdeitha Sariaith, the Welsh Language Society. Well versed in protests on this issue dating back half a century. We cannot allow this to continue, and Cymdeitha Sariaith will oppose this auction which is directed towards those who wish to buy holiday homes. Tensions around Welsh holiday homes aren't new, but Brexit and Covid notes a report for the Welsh Government is adding pressure. 130 miles south, the Pembrokeshire village of Cymreglois made headlines recently, depicted as replete with second homes as nearly drained of permanent residents. The Welsh nationalist Plaid Cymru are calling it a crisis. Brexit, goes the argument, has made buying a second home on the continent more complicated than before, and so there'll be more interest in properties in the UK, while Covid has done much to accelerate the trend in more remote working. So the demand for second homes in some parts of Wales, says the report, could become insatiable. In an already booming housing market, some question the narrative of second homes driving up prices. But in St David's, further down the coast, Rachel Kelway-Lewis is in no doubt. From nearby Solver, she's 25, a housing officer and living in a caravan. It's a massive issue for so many people my age. None of us, despite working full time, can afford to buy in the area we grew up in. Most of us can't even afford to rent in the area because if it's not a second home, it's a holiday home. I don't hate second homeowners or tourists at all. They bring so much custom to our area, but there has to be something in place that makes it accessible for us too. We're living in temporary accommodation, static caravans. Yurt. She met the politician this week whose remit covers housing. A Welsh government minister now promising more affordable housing, a new holiday home registration scheme, piloting also how in some areas to change tax and planning regimes to control second home numbers without damaging tourism or the value of people's homes. A plan criticised by some campaigners as aimless and weak. There are quite a few people who would say your government has not acted fast enough on this and that as useful as consultations and pilot schemes can be, radical measures are needed now to address this issue. Of course, people feel very strongly that the radical measures are needed now. I feel very strongly that they are. The, the difficulty is there's no silver bullet for this. Nobody's able to come up and say, if you just do this, it solves the problem, because it doesn't. That's the truth. The truth is we need a complex range of mixed measures to help with the problem in a number of different ways. So they look elsewhere now to places like St Ives in Cornwall, where new homes can't be second homes. But the efficacy of such interventions there is not yet clear. And all the while, the demands for solutions to this emotive, complex issue grow louder. <laughs>